everybody! Hi! It's me, Shauna, and your Boston. favorite young pampered chef, Boston. Alright, let's do this. Boston, tell everybody what we're making today. We're making some... Um, some soft waffles. Wait, not waffles. Pretzels. Pretzels. Soft pretzels using our ultimate pretzel making kit that uh, we have had in, <laughs> we've had since August and this is the first time we're using it. I can't believe it. We, I have been waiting for like a special day. Guess what? Today is a snow day. I'd say that is for a me. special day. Yeah. For all of us, snow day. So um, all of the instructions are printed on the mat that comes with this and our little rolling mat. And uh, there are seven steps to making soft pretzels. First off, we have make it. So we took our bag of pretzel dough mix, which you can totally buy all by itself, and we followed the instructions, which were to add, what did we add to it? First we, okay, first, what do we do? Let's recap. First we, we poured that in. Yeah, we poured and our mix we put in. Water in. One cup of water to it. Then we put a little oil in it. I think you forgot a part. Yeah, first we mixed it. We mixed it, and then we kneaded it, and we let it sit in our oiled batter bowl covered for 25 minutes. So that's step three. We'll get there. So that is what we have left. We have our uh, lovely dough, which we're going to drop onto our mat. All right, so this has been, uh, elbows off. This has been rising for 25 minutes. Yep. Now we're going to stretch it out along the ruler. Yep. And then what are we going to do, Boston? Then we're going to divide it in eight. Yep. So let's do it. Eight. So first, let's start in the middle. Oh yeah. We're going to make up, we're going to make two halves. Right? Yeah. Two halves. Good job. And then just pull it apart. Okay, then we, then we do it again. Cut the, cut the halves. Yeah, and halves go in half. Makes, so, makes quarter. Yeah, so let, wait, let's pause, pause. This is our pretzel making uh, tool for making pretzel bites, which we could totally also do. Okay. Here, it's not sharp at all. But no, it makes, it's not. It makes fantastic little crinkly cuts. Like, I like how it looks on the dough, eh? Yeah. It's kind of like pizza. Yeah. And then we'll have to cut all these in. All right. So to cut. make it all in eight. That's right. That's right. You heard it from Chef Boston. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, wait. Right. Step that side. One done. Mm -hmm. Two done. There's two done. Fantastic. Okay. We'll do that. I'll leave you. There's four done now. Okay, so let's just divide those. You really don't have to press or anything. You just have to roll it. Good. Just you're just scoring it so it's easy to break apart. One more. Alright, so we have divided it up. And eight! And into eight. And we'll just set that aside. So I want to show you what we're working on. Alright, so from there, we're going to take our eights and we're going to roll it out into snakes. Can you help me do that? Roll it. Yeah. Pull up your sleeves. Let's roll it. Roll it into the snakes. We need to make sure each of these rolls is 15, uh, 15 inches. Okay, okay, let's roll it out. Big, big, big. Or we can kind of pull it out here. It's like Play-Doh. Did it! 15! No, 15's over there, man. That's 15 centimeters. <laughs> oh. 15, yeah. You have to make it 15. Yeah, right? you did it, man. All right, so. Here. Stick it. Next. Next, we'll just, protect, we'll just uh, pause while we get all of the rest of them done. All right, Boston, what's step three? Step three Mix says? Mix it! Mix it. So we are going to, to make, mix. we're going to take four cups 
of uh, water. And I'm using so, like, warm thirsty, water. Mom. And I'm using our small batter bowl, which is actually mom, free this month. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Three months. Well, it's warm water. That would be yucky. Three. So this is free with a hundred dollar purchase this month in the month of what month are we in, man? We are in November. Spell it. N O V. N O V. N O V. I M B. E. 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 M B. E. B. E. R. E. R. Yeah. All right. So four I tablespoons of baking soda. We're gonna give our pretzels a bath. There we go. Good job. All right. We'll put that over here. Dun, dun, dun. All right. So we're just going to stir that up. This is this is what makes them an actual pretzel. All right, Boston. What's next? After we mix it, then we step four. Step four. Shape it. We shape it. So we're gonna take our um, snakes. Ooh, snake. Ooh. Big snake. <laughs> I can All right, and I'm gonna show you. Here's what I we do. Smell like a small snake. So it actually, there's a, a demo here. What we do, we lay it onto our pretzel making kit. Oh, that's how we do it. Yeah. And if you want to be fancy, you guys, if you want to get real fancy like the professionals, you could totally make it into a little knot. Whoa, it's going to be fun. Yeah, it's just a hair. Let me show you again. One more real quick. One little knot. And then you just press it into place. Yep. Okay. And then. Want to try? Yeah. Here, I'll set that aside for right now. Let's take another one of we're our snakes. Oh, they're starting to stick together. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's because we laid them all in a big clump bus. So what's first? Well, here, let's get one of our snakes. We need to make sure our snakes... Oh, so we... Remember our snakes? We have to make sure they're... Here. Let's make sure they're all the right oh. side. Oh. All right, you want to try? So we're gonna start start at the top, lay it in the middle. Just like that. Oh my gosh, you must be a professional. Are you a professional? Yeah. <laughs> there, we can just squish it down a little bit. Look at that, look at that. That's an expert if you ask me. Okay, so next step is to, what's in the step six? Oh, five, sorry, we missed a step. Oops. Step five. Zip it. Dip it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Dip it. So what we're gonna do, I'll show you, is we take our Whoa. thing Whoa. and we give it a little bath. Oh my gosh, should we use the wrong? I guess we have to go a little sideways. So we're just gonna dunk it. And then let it all drain off. And then bring it over to our pan. I'm using the half sheet pan, you guys. It is completely wow. non-stick, so we don't have to worry about like, boiling it or anything. What about mine? And uh yeah, you wanna do this one too? Yeah. Hey, you, you take a turn. Here, we'll put this guy back on. Go Looks ahead. Like we're doing the opposite. Oh, now take the bottom off. Here. Ah, give it a bath. Yeah, okay. So uh, maybe that was not the best bowl to use. One of our dipping trays would have been a good one. That's okay. And then let it drain off. I'll bring it over to our pan and we'll just uh, carefully take it off. All right. And yeah. So we'll just skip aside a couple steps here. So that's what it was for. What's next? Step six is to brush it. Brush it. We're going to take a one cup prep bowl 
sure if there's any eggshells this is why we always like cracking into a separate bowl and there is totally an eggshell so I'm just gonna fish that out here eggshells some of them mm -hmm. yeah because I cracked hard mm-hmm it was a big crack all right but it was there but we go it was harder but so you can, can you give that a little stir a little mix hold it with your other hand there we go give it a mix Remember how I showed you to stir up an egg? Okay. There you go. Good job. And it says here that it says for uh, brushing it, you want to beat one egg with one tablespoon of water. Can you mix that up for mom? We'll take our silicone basting brush. Here you go, buddy. Do you want to paint? Can you paint our pretzels? Go ahead and paint our pretzels. Oh my goodness, look at you. Are you a professional love... painter? Yeah. yeah. I'm actually pretty good. <laughs> you are. I am a good painter. And then, once we have painted our pretzels, with our little our egg wash, we're going to sprinkle on some coarse sea and Himalayan Let's salt. Let's paint. It's, I kind of actually feel like I'm painting. Yeah. And that's it, you guys. That was easy peasy, would you say? Okay, that's enough painting. It was pretty easy. That was pretty easy. I liked that. Did you like doing that? Mm -hmm. Should we make more? Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and make some more. All right, we'll say bye to our friends first. Bye, friends. Bye. Oh, oh wait, we forgot something. Wait, what? What's step seven? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bake it. Bake it. For how long? Bake your pretzels for 18 to 20 minutes or until they appear dark, golden brown. Amazing. You heard it from our little young chef. Enjoy, you guys. That was easy. Right? It was easy. Bye for now. Bye. See you soon. Till we cook again.